Hi, it's Daiki. This video might be a bit different from what I usually make. In this video, I'm gonna show you a bit different side of Finland. Finland is often known as the happiest country, and I think many people in other countries generally have positive impressions towards Finland. I've lived in Finland for six years, and so far I like living in Finland for various reasons. However, there is no such a perfect country in this world, and Finland has also problems like other countries do. So, in this video, I'm gonna focus on two social issues alcoholism and drug addiction. According to the statistics, in Finland, around 9 to 10 percent of people aged over 15 have some sort of alcohol use disorders. Since 2007, alcohol consumption per capita has decreased in Finland. However, over half a million are still at risk from excessive drinking and the level of alcohol consumption is still high. Various types of alcohol-related harm still affect many Finns. For instance, alcohol-related violent deaths are often seen as a big issue. Drug addiction is another problem. According to the Finnish Institute for Health and Welfare, Finland has seen an increase in drug overdose deaths in recent years. Also, drug-related deaths have doubled in the last 20 years. While overdose deaths among people under 30 are on the rise, the typical drug overdose victim in Finland is a man in his 30s. Anyway, I'll go to some areas near the center of Helsinki where some part of social issues can be somewhat seen. I'm not an expert in this field, but I want to show how it is like. As you saw, there are many people who drink alcohol in the public areas. Of course, it's not like you see them everywhere and usually they don't bother other people. But the main point here is the alcoholism is a big social issue in Finland and it's deeply connected to other social problems as well. It's clear that there have been other triggers and then they ended up drinking from stress, loneliness, depressions, and so on, and got addicted. It must be difficult to get out of the negative spiral. Then, how can we solve this issue? I don't know, things are not that simple. It looks like we haven't found very effective solutions on a macro level since 2008 alcohol tax has been raised already eight times. So the price of alcohol has increased but it hasn't improved the current situation. Yule's article mentioned that alcohol consumption may have increased more in groups where the risk of violence is higher. And the typical perpetrators and victims involved in alcohol-related deaths are unemployed, middle-aged Finnish men according to a researcher. When I started working for my current company, I had to take a basic medical check at occupational healthcare. The nurse asked me about 30 questions about my health and life habit. 
I remember that nearly half of the questions were related to alcohol consumption and addiction. We see a lot of discussions regarding drug use as well nowadays. In the capital region, wastewater monitoring shows that the use of ecstasy increases up to 5 to 10 times and the use of cocaine doubles or triples on weekends. Other stimulant drugs including amphetamine and metaphetamine are used more evenly throughout the week based on the study. In early July, the health agency announced that overdose deaths are on the rise in Finland. According to Statistics Finland, accidental drug doses almost doubled between 2015 and 2020. It sparked a debate on effective tackling measures. Finnish police board says penalizing addicts is not the answer. Punishment does not reduce drug use. In other parts of the world, drug consumption rooms have become common, but they are not currently available in Finland. That's why some people support the introduction of specially designated drug consumption rooms. A citizen's initiative called for supervised drug consumption rooms to be trialed in Finland. It has reached the required 50,000 signatures and moves to parliament to be debated by the members of the parliament. In such facilities, drug users can use illegal intoxicants under the supervision of a healthcare worker. Some people who support the idea say things like consumption rooms increase the safety of both users and other people. The facilities can help increase users' awareness of available services as well as reduce overdoses, drug poisoning death, and drug use on the streets. On the other hand, we can also see careful opinion and skeptical attitudes about introducing drug consumption rooms, such as it is important to have a more detailed knowledge based on how supervised consumption rooms would work and what impact they could have in Finland. It would make sense to assess the effects of drug use rooms on the basis of existing international empirical information. The facilities might make people consider drug use as more acceptable. The move could even worsen drug abuse. Yeah, so this is also the reality. I know this is not a problem only in Finland but in other countries as well. I usually try to show real lifestyle in Finland as well as interesting part of Finnish culture. While Finland has many cool aspects, it's also nice to show a bit different part of the country, in my opinion. I know these can be a bit controversial issues and there is no one right answer. And there can be a several different countermeasures. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did or even you didn't, <laughs> you are welcome to watch some other videos as well. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Moikka!